Hello everyone, this is Miss Marianne with Sunday School. I am happy to be with you. Hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, this is coming out on September 13th, which is kickoff Sunday. We are very excited about all the things that we have planned for you for this program year. We are beginning Zoom Sunday School um, on Sundays at 10 o'clock. Uh, there should be links in your emails to join us there. Would love to see you. We got to talk to some kids last week and it was great to talk with them and play games together. So uh, hope to see you guys there. Um, if you're not getting those emails, we know that some are going into spam and junk filters. So um, be sure that you're registered and let us know. We're trying to fix those problems, but would love to see you. We know Zoom doesn't work for everyone, so we will be continuing our videos as well, but would love to see you at least some of the time in that Zoom because it's good to talk with you. This Sunday, September 13th, we are also doing a drive through celebration so that we can see you and really kick off the new year in a fun way. At that drive through our K-5 kids are going to get a special bag that has things to help support Sunday school at home. When we are at church, there's lots of things all around us that let us know that we are in a, a separate place that is set aside to be with God and to uh, feel our spirit. And that can be hard to do when you're at home, you're maybe in the same place that you're having school or just a general place that you're doing other things and it's hard to feel that spirit. So we wanted uh, to provide you with something to help you recognize that when you're doing a Zoom Sunday school or a, a Sunday school video that you are in a sacred place. And so we have some things to help create an altar and um, you can personalize those bags um, and keep them uh, together. You can add things to them and we'll be talking more about that um, in our lessons. So come through and get those. We also have coloring sheets. There's also bags for if you have some younger siblings, we have some bags for those as well. So come by, would love to see you there. If you miss that drive through time, uh, check uh, email or call the office um, to let us know and we will probably have some bags left over. I can't promise anything, but we'll probably be able to get you something. So definitely let us know. We are also beginning midweek missions. It's going to look very different than normal, um, but have a really fun year plan. So midweek missions is our Wednesday midweek program where kids get to do service opportunities for uh, the church or for the wider community. We're going to be doing some uh, community-based projects, and then we're going to do our Thanksgiving baskets, which is one of the biggest things that K-5 does every year is to provide Thanksgiving baskets to those in need at um, Gladden House. And we are continuing to do that needed even more this year than ever. So really want to continue to provide that. Uh, definitely register if you are interested in that program because we are preparing packets so that you will have everything that you need to do all the projects. Um, but we do need you to register so that we can prepare those. Um, I do think one of the benefits of being virtual is that if you happen to have a conflict on a Wednesday night, it's video based, uh, so you can do it another time. We will have a uh, once a month, uh, Julie will be doing a Zoom with a particular age group. So once a month, you'll get to do a project with her. But if you have another thing on Wednesday, you can still do the projects with those videos. So uh, that is kind of an advantage. So I said it'll look different, but I think it'll be really fun and we'll get a lot out of it uh, of doing those service projects. So let us continue with our lesson for today. I will bring up our candle so that we can do our opening prayer. And let's just take a moment to either close your eyes or look at the candle and take a deep breath to get us ready. Dear God, thank you for this way of being together. Thank you for all the ways that we can know you and learn about you and help us to create a sacred community that reflects the beauty of all your creation. Amen.
So our Bible verse for today comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. This is Jesus speaking. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am among them. When Jesus was teaching, he was never in a church or even at a temple, really. He mostly taught in people's homes and out on hilltops and by lakes. And his followers who spread his message were much the same. They mostly taught in homes. It was a very long time before church buildings were built. And I think in this time where we can't be in a physical church, it's helping me at least to remember that, that our roots aren't bound, um, that church isn't just a building, that that doesn't bind, that isn't what binds us and that isn't what makes us a church. So the Bible has a lot of different types of writings in it, and some of them are letters that early church leaders wrote to the early communities to encourage them and to talk about how to be a community, a Christian community, and how to be a church. And so our story for today is a retelling um, from the book of Hebrews chapter 13, which is one of those stories. So I'm going to read that to you. Long ago, there lived a group of people who met together to worship God and learn about following God's ways. These people were all followers of Jesus, and they did many things together. But most importantly, they learned how to be a church together, showing God's love as taught by Jesus. One day, one of these leaders had something very important to say. Friends, remember to show love always. Listen to those who teach you about God's love and God's ways. Remember, God is always with us and God always loves us. God wants us to show kindness to others, not just your friends, but to people who may be different than you. By doing good work, sharing what we have, and looking after each other. This is what it means to be a church. The people looked at one another. We can do this. We can celebrate the good news by loving and caring for each other. And this is what they did. And do you know what happened? The church grew and grew and grew. The people all work together to find ways to show love to others. Some would visit the sick. Some would welcome visitors into their homes. Some would share their food. Some would play with children. And some would tell stories about Jesus. And you know what happened? The church continued to grow and grow and grow. And eventually... They built buildings that became the church. I wonder what you think about this story. I wonder if anything surprised you in this story. I wonder what a church is. I wonder what words come to mind when you think about our church community? I wonder. I wonder how we can show that we are welcoming to others. I wonder how we can have church when we can't be in the same place together. I wonder what your ideal church would look like. What would it feel like? I wonder how you can spread God's love. And I wonder how, if you can guess how long it was before the first church was built after the time of Jesus. over 200 years after.
after Jesus, before the first church was built. Isn't that a long time? Isn't that surprising? I think it's surprising. Hmm. And I wonder what you are going to do this week. I hope you find something fun to do. I hope that you can find a way to spread God's love. I bet you can. Let us do our closing prayer. Bring our candle back. Loving God, thank you for this time that brings us together and brings us close to you and to one another. Help us to always remember that you are with us. Amen. Now we'll change this light so the light of Christ can be with you wherever you are and wherever you go. It will be there when you need it. Hope to see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Blessings.